All right, so I tried looking around on YouTube to see if anyone else had any videos like this, and I couldn't find any. So I figured I would make one of my own. What I have here is a ring doorbell camera. This is the Pro, the first edition. And the cover's off, sitting here on my workbench. As you can see, the lens is very cloudy. I looked all around online to see if they made replacement lenses, couldn't find anything. I've seen some um, protective covers to go over top. And as you can see, the button is messed up too. I'll have to replace that at a later date. But I'm going to attempt sanding and polishing this lens to see if I can get the clarity back because I really don't feel like spending another hundred plus dollars for a new one when this is maybe two years old and can't remember exactly how long I've had it but yeah we'll give it a whirl and see what happens all right as you can see I went ahead and used some uh, painters tape just to try and protect the edges a little bit for when I sand I might not get the best camera angles here I have my phone just propped up on top of a paint can but I'll try my best I'm just gonna do some sanding and keep going over to, to different types of sandpaper. There was someone else on YouTube that was polishing off a set of lenses for their boat, the gauges, and this is what they used. Got it off of Amazon. I think this kit was, I don't know, it was twelve dollars, something like that. But a bunch of different types of sandpapers. So we're gonna give it a whirl and just kind of see what happens. And you can do it wet or dry and try and dry. going for a while and come on back. Alright so after sanding for quite a while with the uh, the green polishing paper which is rated at it's a 600 grit really wasn't coming off the way that I wanted to so I grabbed a just piece of just your normal 600 grit and went to town and got a lot of those what do you want to call it? Craze out of the lens. So it feels fairly smooth, but obviously now it's all scratched up. So after using just the normal sandpaper, I'm now going to go back to using the green, and then I'm going to go down the process of all the different colors and I'll chime back in as I'm going through it all. Alright, so this is after hitting it again with the green 600, the polishing. Actually, it's kind of crazy how much came out just from doing that. So now I'm going to hit it up with, let's see, what's the, the grayish blue, which is, it's 1200 grit. So I'm going to hit that one, and then I'll come on back. Alright, so I've now used the 1200 grit, which is really hard to see on camera. But I can definitely tell the difference. Now, to be completely honest, I'm paying way more attention to this upper portion where the actual camera is than the lower part. So I am standing down there, but I'm not spending nearly as much time. I honestly don't really care about that part. I just want to be able to see out of this thing. So next, I am going to move on to oh, this is blue one. If I can get out of there. The blue is 1800, so I'm going to do a little sanding with that, and then we'll come back. Now, I am quite impressed. So, I just hit it with the blue paper, and see if we can catch that. It's, uh, it's pretty darn clear already. We still have a few different ones to go. I mean, right there, clarity-wise, be way better than it was before 
as you see again I'm paying way more attention to this top I'm still sanding the bottom too but not nearly as much and because I didn't prep it the same as the top you can see it doesn't look nearly the same but I'm okay with that and by the way I'm just this uh, paper is kind of tough so I'm just taking a razor blade and cutting this all into strips and then just sanding her I'm actually I'm really impressed with uh, how well this is turning out I'm looking forward to when I'm completely done to see how this looks I mean realistically I could probably stop right now and it would be great it's really impressive just how clear that is right there but I'm gonna move on the next one is 8,000 grit the pink so I don't know sand some of that and be right back all right so I just sanded it with the what was it the 8,000 grit the pink and I can't believe how clear this thing is getting I know you guys probably can't see it the best there we go see a little bit there there's still some slight scratches in it but I still have I think what two more to go so yeah again the bottom the bottom doesn't look the best but I'm not really worried about that I just want the camera to be able to see again so next we have aqua which is 10,600 grit all right so I am going to sand with some of this guy Let's see what happens again I'm just using a razor blade cutting off pieces of this because it is like a like a real like thick of paper you can't just tear it by hand I'll, I'll leave the camera rolling for this one. See if I can notice the difference again. So far, it's been plainly obvious how much better it looks. tell the difference that quickly. I've never used a polishing type sandpaper for anything. I've never had a, a reason to. And I think I might be buying some more of this stuff for some other projects. Because that is looking really good. And I just need to order that button. I've seen them on eBay. They have different color ones, but just get a plain Jane one. I kind of wish I would have already ordered it so that way I could just make this thing look brand new all at once. Yeah. That thing looks practically brand new. Still some real light scratches, but those definitely aren't going to get picked up in the uh, camera view. Okay. Yeah, so you can you can see them a little bit right there, little light scratches. But I'm sure if I spend a whole lot more time really going at this thing, I can get them all out. I still have the other one to do, but I'm gonna continue with this uh, this paper for a little while and we'll come back. All right, so I just finished up with the blue and probably doesn't look much different from when I was last on here. But now I am going to use the final one which is 22,000 grit. So, honestly, it just feels like tissue paper. But, cut some of this up and see what happens. Oops. Let's see. I wonder if 
if I'll really be able to tell the difference after this one. impressions. Yeah, it looks like some of the fine scratches are out. There's still some in there, but I'm honestly not going to spend the amount of time to completely remove all those. But yeah, so let's keep trucking along. Alright, so I went over it with the, what was it again, 22,000 grit. And I got out a decent amount of scratches, but there's there's definitely still scratches in there. But some of those were left behind from previous steps. If I probably would have spent a little more time on this, I could have gotten that absolutely pristine. But come on. That is a million times clearer than what it was before. I definitely can't wait to get this thing hooked back up. But once I do, I will take a screen capture of the image. I took one before doing this to show how easy it was. But I'll do another one and I'll put it at the end of the video so you can see the before and after. Hopefully this actually looks good. <laughs> um, I can tell you a word of warning when doing this. The reason why the screen looks so bad is because the UV protection is what failed. So it crazed and hazed and you know whatever word you want to use well I still have some UV protection down here because I didn't go crazy with the 600 grit in the beginning but I took it all off up top so there is zero UV protection on the top of this thing which means you need to find something to put on there to try and protect it because obviously without UV protection it's going to fail a lot sooner and you're gonna to have to do this all over again you know much more frequently so they do make different things for like headlight repair kits that have like a, a I'm gonna say a film, but it's I don't really know which one I call it. But basically it's just it's a liquid that you smear over really fast and some of them actually use like a UV light to dry them up. They make stuff like that. But what I'm gonna try, and I believe I mentioned it early on in the video is that there are actually companies that make screen protectors for these. So they look just like the ones that you get for your smartphone. And in fact, the one that I saw on eBay, I can't remember the name of it, but it, it was a company that made screen protectors for cell phones. It was something Shield, it was in a blue package. And um, I wanna say it was I don't know, $12, something like that. So I'm gonna pick up one of those and I'm gonna put that on here. So this will be exposed to the elements for probably about a week until that gets here. Plus I'm going to pick up a new button. So same thing. I'll have to pull this all apart and uh, dive into it again. But for now I am pretty pleased. So there you go.